All right, so today we are going to be playing around with the loop carousel, the new widget from Elementor. And somebody from this community has given me the idea to replicate Apple's marquee. And I said, what better way than to marry these two and see what comes out of it. So let's get into it. All right, so this is what we are building today. And I think in my opinion, it does look like Apple's marquee. If we hover over the image, we can see that the button shows up, pops up or slides up as seen on Apple. Apple's website and the button obviously the image and the title are all three clickable except for the excerpt this is not available in Elementor unless I missed something but I think I didn't I have also obviously added some codes to make this run smoothly in a loop because it's a loop carousel right <laughs> Obviously, you don't have to do this, but I think this adds a little bit of interest. Also, it makes it look like it's Apple's marquee. All right, let's add our container and I am going to set this container to full width, obviously 100%. And I am going to add the loop carousel. You can just search for it. I added it to my favorites because make it easier for myself. And let's create our template. And what we want to add, first of all, is going to be an image, an image widget. And we are going to be adding a heading and a text editor widget as well. And we're going to be using the dynamic tags to pull the featured image of the post. And I already had them set. And let me show you how you can do that. So go back to your dashboard and go to your posts and open one of the posts, go to edit. And you will see that you have the featured image option here. So this is where you are going to be adding a featured image and this will be pulled to the loop carousel uh, through the time dynamic tags. As excerpt, I only added the movie uh, tag category, let's say, or whatever you want to, to uh, have this be. Unfortunately, it is not possible to pull the, the information, to pull other information such as categories into or through dynamic tags. And we will see this in, but I wanted to show you how you can set this information. All right, so basically this is a template that will, as any template, model the rest of the carousel's images and information basically. So let's go to our heading and we're gonna go to dy dynamic tags and we are going to choose the post title, yeah? And we are also going to go to the text editor and we are going to go to dynamic tags and we are going to search for post excerpt. All right, so let me set the styles. We don't want this horrendous color. I'm gonna set it to this color. I'm gonna set this to not pixels, obviously not good enough. Let's also set the style for the excerpt. Give it a little bit of margin, minus margin, top. And I think this is way too dark. I don't like it. It doesn't look good in my opinion. Let's add our button. So I'm going to go and look for the button widget and I'm gonna drop it in here and I'm gonna set this in the center and I am going to go to advance and go to position, absolute. And obviously we are going to have to move this. Looks like this might be the center. And then this will go right here. I think this should be okay. No, it's not. This is a bit fiddly. You would have to play around with it and see what works for your use case, but I think it's okay. All right, what I wanted to do actually is set this image to a width of 100% and a height of 30, no, not, v, not VX, VH, 35. I tested this and it looks the best, I guess. And I'm gonna uh, set the object fit to cover. And let's see how it looks. And I think it's looking quite similar to the one on top. All right, I'm going to add a six pixel port radius. It's basically the one that Apple uses. We are going to be mimicking, mimicking everything they do. All right, and it seems like our button has kind of gone 
broke and <laughs> we need to fix this maybe here yeah this is uh, the bad part about positioning i honestly hate using positioning but in this case i honestly don't see what other option i have okay i think this is okay and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add codes to make this uh have the glass effect that we need first of all i'm going to give it um a radius of 60 percent and i think 50 percent would do as well and i'm going to set the padding to top 15 bottom 15 and and the padding right and left to 45 yes i know i left the zeros in front because just annoying i don't want to be bothered with that okay let's set the content i'm going to be adding an icon and uh let's look for the play button and this is what apple has on their button and i'm going to set this after and i think we need some more space between not too much i think this is right and i think our button needs some styling i'm going to set this to bold theirs is pretty bold and i think it's okay and let's bring in the code that we need let's add the code right here so go to advance in the button and just paste this code i will have i will have this code and all the code that i'm using in this video as usual in the description below and here we are i think it's looking really good all right so now we want to add our codes for the button so as you can see in this example up here once we hover over the the container or the image the button appears yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna do this in two ways let me just give some space here because it's a little bit too crowded and interrupted by the other marquee as i said we have two ways to do this either set the codes on, on the basically parent container or we are going to set it on the child on the basically on the uh, on the column itself so for example in this case in this case here we have it set on the container and no matter where on the container you hover the button will appear but in the column case if you hover over this column the button will show on this column only and i think it's good to have this option i will set it first on the container so you can see obviously it doesn't work because i did not set the the buttons class which we should do so we're going to go back now and go back to the button and set here the class so the class is show and as you can see right now the button disappears so it's working right and now we have to try to see how it works on let me just disable it here let me copy it again and i will disable it on the on the container and i'm going to add it on the column so in order to do that we go to the to edit the column to edit the template again and we are going to access the column and go to advance and go to custom css and drop the code in here so let's see how this works i need to first obviously save the template let's see i think this is pretty cool that you we have this option right and i think this is pretty cool i'm gonna leave it like this for now now that we have the, all this set what remains is obviously setting our carousel so since i have only five posts i'm gonna just leave it number of slides equal height yes okay i will go to pagination and i will disable the dots and i will also go to navigation and disable the arrows we don't need the arrows because obviously we will not need them obviously you can set your posts to appear in the or whatever order you want and i'm going to set them to appear in ascending order so from first to the last obviously and i am going to update this and i think it's looking pretty pretty slick right now i'm going to be adding the code that will make this loop infinitely basically make it a marquee let's post it in here but it's gonna be working very strange so what we need to do is go to co the content of the loop carousel go to not here go to settings and we're gonna set this to the scroll speed to zero the transition duration to can be 7000 
and we are going to leave the pose on hover and pose on uh, interaction yes sometimes i have the feeling that it doesn't work which is very strange i don't know why but oh well and let's update and let's preview our marquee it is pretty slow i don't know why all right so another thing that we have to do is go to our container and basically remove the padding so our carousel bleeds into the edges of the page very smoothly so let's see it again i honestly don't know what the issue is why it's going so slow but i i have a feeling that is something to do with uh, caching because basically the settings are the same as this one on top let's see everything will be okay if we purge the cache oh right so now it's going faster all right so let's go to 7000 and i think we are fine go down and it's working pretty good as you can see on uh, interaction it stops a little bit and as i said not always but that's fine and uh, let's go back and let's go to edit our template and i'm i want to show you the options you have to link each item to act the actual page of the post so Let's go to the image and go to the content and obviously go to featured image and go to link obviously and custom URL, dynamic tags and go to post URL and this will be pull the URL of the post and we can do the same thing with the heading, go to content, go to post to link and go to post URL and as you can see if we go to content we don't have the same option for the text editor widget in this case so we leave that as is but maybe elementor has other plans for this widget so we're going to let's go to the button and we're gonna do the same thing go to dynamic tags post url and now everything is set in uh, our template for the respective link to lead to the post so let's see it again let's have another preview and i think it is pretty damn cool all right let's see how this behaves on mobile and for some reason it does this but uh, i think it's fine let's go to edit our template <laughs> And we are going to grab this naughty button and just set it here in the center and everything is fine. But since we don't have hover states on tablet and mobile, I set this to be visible. So let's save this. We need to work a little bit on this. I think the issue is that, let's see, we set this to default and we simply add negative margin on top how would this behave i think this is not the best practice but let's see if this works better than positioning in this case let's save it let's see if this did it yeah i think this is better all right i think we're gonna do that and let's go to mobile and it's fantastic on mobile as well and i think since we made the changes on mobile it affected our template so what we are gonna do is bring our button all the way i think that's that's correct and that's right and it's gonna look good like this yeah all right let's have another look at our marquee so this is the marquee with the hover on container showing the button on all images basically and this is the one at the column level where hovering on a column or an image for example would show the button of the respective column uh, image you get it all right i think this is it so i clicked on the button and it we were taken to the post and let's click on this one and this is another one i think it's pretty cool 
but I'm waiting for this to be bug free because I have the feeling that especially on mobile, tablet and mobile, uh, there are some bugs there. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.